are not many records, especially in engineering, that Britain does not hold at the moment. And here goes another, the largest girder in the world. And what a load to move. First of all, they had to build the world's largest motor lorry. This cost over £5,000 and is a remarkable affair. It has 30 wheels, steering back and front, and has a telephone for the drivers to talk to one another from opposite ends. The total weight was over 150 tonnes, so you can imagine they had to take things steady. They had a little trouble at some of the corners, but a pull here and there by a traction engine soon put things right, and away they went again. It took about four hours to do the trip of a mile from the station to the site, but they arrived safe and sound, accompanied by an enormous crowd of admiring sightseers. But that was only half the job completed. The next thing to do was to get this monster into position, because if they'd left it lying around in the roadway for a few hours, it would have slowly disappeared into the ground amongst the gas pipes and water pipes. This did happen in Scotland when a girder in its trailer sank out of sight. And there it is in position amongst a network of steel, which will in time be a magnificent hotel. Well, it took many hours of pushing and shoving, but like everything British, it's a good job well done.